What we're looking at right now is some decomposed shale and some of the parent materials that compose part of the salt uh, problem that we have in, uh, in the western United States. Uh, a lot of these materials were originally formed from marine shales and mudstones and uh, the salinity takes several forms uh, within the stone and the underlying substratum. Uh, one cause of salinity is what's called a salt anticline and those occur deeper in the earth when overlying rocks compress down on a, on a buried salt layer and help force it up to a surface. With these marine shell deposits, when, those, when the shallow seas evaporated, they left, left behind this material. And as you can see here, we have the layers of shale, and it's pretty fragile material. And inside the shale, both inside these little layers, right here, here's a little, little piece of the salt right here. We also get these larger crystal structures such as this. Uh, this. This salt lens right here. As you apply water to these materials, these salts dissolve and mobilize. The shells decompose into a smectitic clay. Smectitic means it has a shrink swell potential, so it changes size and cracks a lot when you apply water to it. It breaks readily down into a fine clay, uh, clay material, and it leaves behind these salts. Now when you're irrigating, you have to keep in mind that plants, for the most part, will take up the water in an almost pure form. So that the, what irrigation tends to do over an extended period of time is it concentrates the salts. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you are irrigating, whether the source of the water is a ditch, a well, or even natural rainfall, all of those water sources have salts in them in some amount and some quantity that we can measure. So it's very important that we manage the salts effectively in order to maintain suitable irrigation and agricultural production on the site. If we don't, what ends up happening is, is the, the ground will undergo a salinization process and it can get to the point where it is not economically feasible to reclaim those soils and keep them in agricultural production.